All right, in this video, we are going to evaluate these limits over here for basically these radical questions. Let's take a look at the first one. The first thing I do is sub in my limit. So if I sub in zero into this question, zero plus three is three and square root three minus square root three is just zero. So I have zero in the top and I have a zero in the bottom, which means that this is an indeterminate form which means I need to rationalize. So in order to rationalize, I need to multiply the top and bottom by the same thing with the square root, but I need to change the sign on the outside. So let me do that right here in the next step. I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by root x plus three plus three, just changing the sign on the outside. Now we're gonna multiply out the part with both radicals in order to rationalize. And then the other part will leave the exact same. We'll leave it in factored form. So I'll just start by writing the bottom the exact same in factored form. And for the top, I will expand. So root x plus three times root x plus three is just x plus three. Root x plus three plus three is plus three root x plus three. Negative root three times, oh, I'm missing a root here. Just realize the root there, there's a root there. Um, and there's a root over here because it was in the question and I forgot to put it in the uh, first solution. So let's continue with this. X plus root X plus three times root X plus three is X plus three. Root X plus three times three root X plus three is just root three times root X plus three. And I'm multiplying the two insides here, which is negative root three root X plus three. And then I'm going to multiply the two outside terms, negative root three times positive root three is just negative three. Now, these two middle terms cancel out here. And when we do these rationalizing questions, the middle terms will always cancel out. So you'll see in the later examples, I won't write the middle terms out anymore because I know they are always going to cancel out. And then positive three and negative three will also cancel out. So I'm just left with lim x approaches zero. I only have an x on the top. And then on the bottom, I have this. Once I do my cancellation, I can sub in my limit. Oh, I haven't done my cancellation yet. I'm gonna cancel into x's. So now I'm just left with this and now since I've done my cancellation, I can sub in my limit of zero. So I'll just be left with one over root three plus root three, which is one over two root three. And if you needed to rationalize, you could multiply the top and bottom by root three. So we'd have root three and then root three times root three is three times two is just six. I just multiplied top and bottom here by root three to rationalize, but in some courses, it's not 100% necessary. All right, let's take a look at the second question here. I'm going to write this one a bit smaller. So if I sub in four into this, 12 plus four is 16, a root of 16 is four, four minus four is zero. And in the bottom also four minus four is zero. So I have zero over zero again, which is an indeterminate case, which means I need to rationalize I need to multiply the top and bottom by four plus root of 12 plus X. So now I need to multiply out the two tops and the bottom I can leave in factored form. So it's going to be X minus four, make sure you put that in a bracket and then four plus root 12 plus X, that's not going to change. The top I'm going to expand. So first term times first term is just 16. 
The two middle terms will cancel each other out always. So I'm not going to write them out, but four times root of 12 plus X and negative root of 12 plus X times four, those two will cancel each other out in the middle. And I'll just multiply the two last terms. Negative times positive is negative. And root 12 plus X times root 12 plus X is just 12 plus X, but make sure you keep it in a bracket or you'll get the wrong solution. Next step, I'm going to simplify the top by distributing this negative into the bracket. So both the terms become negative. Bottom stays the exact same. I'll combine my like terms in the top. That's just four minus X. And now when I simplify this, four minus X and X minus four are not exactly the same. When I cancel them, I'm left with a negative one because it's backwards. So now I have lim X approaches four, negative one over four plus root 12 plus X. And now that I did the cancellation, I can sub in my limit of four. So that's just negative one over four plus root 16, which is negative one over four plus four, which is just negative one over eight. And let's go to the third and final question in this video. Again, exact same idea, just a bit of practice. If I sub in zero in the top, Zero plus five is five, five minus zero is zero. I just have root five minus root five, which is zero on the top. I have zero on the bottom, zero divided by zero is indeterminate. So I have to rationalize. I'm going to multiply the top by X plus five plus root five minus X. And same thing, I'll multiply in the bottom. So bottom is fully factored. So I just have to write that out. And then top, I'm going to foil out these two brackets. But then there's a bracket over here. So first term times first term is just x plus 5. Middle two terms will cancel each other out. I'm not even going to bother discussing it, but outside term times inside term will cancel each other out. Then I have a negative times a positive, which is a negative. And root five minus X times root five minus X is just five minus X. Make sure to keep it in a bracket. Next step, I'll distribute this negative into the bracket. Bottom stays the exact same. And then I'll combine like terms in the top, five and negative five cancel. So I'm just left with two X over X, X plus five, five minus X. And then this X and this X can cancel. We'll continue over here. So I'm just left with, two over root X plus five plus root five minus X. And then I can sum in my limit of zero. So I'm just left with two over root five plus root five, which is just two over two root five. These twos can cancel, which is just one over root five. And then if you rationalize, you multiply root five on the top and bottom. So you're just left with root five over five. And that is the final solution to this question. If you made it to the end of this video and you found this content helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.